and welcome to the Seed System. You're here with Kieran today, and we have two special guests. We have Karide and her friend Mitch. Um, so today we're going to be getting down to how Karide does her manifestation and everything else. So please, Karide, introduce yourself and let us know exactly what you do. Hi, my name is Karide. Thank you for having me, by the way. No um, I am 22 years old, and I am a TikTok content creator. Okay. But I also um sell all webinars and everything about the law of attraction yeah so yeah okay 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 so let's let's get into it let's talk about the tiktok side of things first how did you get into that how did you start being okay so in the first lockdown i um i knew i wanted to be a youtuber or something when i was younger yeah and then in the first lockdown everyone was making tiktoks and i was like I think I can do this. Okay. So I was literally just making a TikTok in the morning yeah. and I loved every single second of it. And I would just leave it throughout yeah. the day. I wouldn't check it or anything. And I just kept saying to my mum, I was like, I'm going to be TikTok famous. I'm going to be TikTok famous. Yeah. And my mum was literally like, the day you get TikTok famous, she was like, I don't believe you kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then one day my account just blew up and it was because I released the Law of Attraction video. Okay. So it was iconic actually. So it was, I was doing makeup first of all. And yeah. then I said to my, um, my followers I was just like oh top secret I was mm-hmm. like I do the law of attraction and that video had like 2 million v- views I crazy over it. it was literally mad so I was like oh. this is my calling in life I need to teach people about the law of the attraction, law of attraction. Mm-hmm. okay have you always used the law of attraction then to like get an advantage since you were younger um, not since I was younger so I'd say about 3 years ago yeah. no 2 years ago maybe I was um in a relationship mm-hmm. and I remember I was just like there's more to life than this I was just like I'm not living yeah. like this anymore yeah. so I wanted to start my new my own business doing eyelashes so I downloaded a P. Louise webinar and yeah. on this webinar she taught you all about business and how to like um, increase your sales and stuff and then in the last like chapter of the webinar she said yeah. she was like if you don't believe in the law of attraction she was like don't follow any of this and I was of like course. what the hell is the law of attraction I was like I want to be involved in this yeah um so I did my research found a podcast and the rest and I'm here now the like teaching history. people how to do it like wow it was, yeah, it was definitely my calling. So how did you start your business? Like, where, where did that go from? Like? <clears throat> so I was on TikTok and I knew I love makeup, but it's yeah. just not like, I just wanted to like help people more, if that okay. makes sense. Like there yeah. was more, I wasn't just, I didn't want to just be a pretty face. I wanted people to know that like you couldn't do anything you wanted to. Yeah. And I was doing it. So I felt selfish not telling people. Mm-hmm. And my DMs were flooding every day with people asking me like, how did you manifest this? How do you manifest that? And yeah, I was yeah. like, do you know what? I think I've got something going for me here. Start teaching people. Literally. And I was like learning manifestation from myself, um, my, by myself yeah. from like, old men podcasts and stuff like that and yeah. I was just like the information out there is so few and far between I was like I need something that's relatable from, from someone really young like, to yeah. teach these people who are interested in it how to mm-hmm. do it so I was just like there's a gap in the market of course so like for those who don't know what you know mm-hmm. manifestation is or law of attraction is mm-hmm. can you explain yeah of course so basically Whatever you think about, you attract. It sounds absolutely crazy, but say you wake up in the morning and you're like, I'm going to have a bad day. Yeah. And more bad things happen. You get stuck in traffic and et cetera, et cetera. You are basically manifesting your whole day. So also, um, I'm going to ask you if you can like tell us more about the YouTube and Insta, because obviously I've seen you've got some big followings on there. Um, how did you grow that? So my YouTube, it yeah. literally all came off the back of TikTok. So when yeah. people find t- me on TikTok, um, oh, they, they were like, YouTube. yeah, they were like, oh, I'll make YouTube videos. And I was like, I can do that as well. YouTube is a lot harder, but I was like, yeah, yeah smash that out of the park. And then you get the Instagram followers off the back of it. And it all just kind of fell into place. Fell into like place and stuff, some yeah. people would say I manifested it. I definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> no, I think manifestation is a good thing. I mean, I've got a little story myself about um, manifesting things. I'd say I was out with the boys, just chilling, and I must have talked about um, speed cameras. They're all saying, yeah, we've had a speed camera uh, ticket and everything. I would never have one. In six, seven years of driving, I've never had one. So I spoke to them, and I'm like, yeah, I've never had one. I'm good, like, do you know what I'm saying? And then what happens two weeks later? Gosh, two yeah, weeks later, start. I've got two. Yeah. Start. Two speeding tickets. Not one, <laughs> two came through the post. I'm thinking, wait a minute, what? So I've gone to tell the lads now, like, listen, we spoke about this, and now look. Like, now look I've got two so I it feel like mad. I manifested that nonsense to myself yeah. by kind of boasting to the boys like listen I ain't got nothing I'm good I'm yeah. clean and now I've got two three points and I had to pay the two fines it's crazy I was like what the <laughs> hell is going on here 
Like but, when you, I think, like when you truly believe that something is going to happen, you act accordingly. Yeah. And that is why, like, you can manifest anything you want. Because if I was to say I'm going to be driving a Range Rover by yeah. the end of 2022, I will do everything in my power and act accordingly. Right? I'll be thinking about it. I'll be searching for them. Like, and of you course. will. I will be driving a Range Rover by the end. You've of You've got 2020. to work for it as well, though. Exactly. As well, isn't it? I mean, I've got my Lamborghini here. Like, <laughs> I will be driving one of these Stunning. by 30. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a Hurricane. Um, yeah, find me that. But <laughs> that's the good thing about manifesting. Like, you, you have no limits, right? You, get yeah, me? you can exactly. do whatever you want. I mean, you've done your Instagram, your TikTok. Um, you're now starting, obviously, the webinars. How are they going? The webinars are amazing. So I'm literally like making a community yeah. of young people like myself who want to know more but don't even know where to start. Don't know where to start. Yeah. Okay. And it's kind of like a crazy topic. Like most people think it's more like spiritual and stuff like yeah, that. And yeah. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about spirituality and stuff. Yeah. So if someone was interested, they'd probably be quite embarrassed to like go to their mum and be like, oh, mum, I want to believe in the universe. Of course. But like, you know, we all have religions and I... I'm not in a religion, but I truly believe that every religion has like a higher power. Yeah. And that's what I believe in. A higher power protects you when you need it. It, it. helps you get what you want. And it's kind of all the same thing, but it is... I can see why it'd be embarrassing to some people to say, I want to believe in the universe. Because yeah. it sounds crazy. But it, if you were to say, I believe in God, no one bats an eyelid. Of course, so of course. I wanted to make like a safe space for people who... Um, yeah, who wanted, who wanted to, to believe, believe in, in the, the universe. Yeah. I oh, know, that's pretty sick. I know, I'm mean, like, the universe is... One of those things that we all speak to, like, you know, we try to believe it as much as possible. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, the universe is doing this, the universe is doing that. And I guess what you said about manifesting, some people do think that the universe is out to get them. Do you feel me? Yeah, so they absolutely. wake up every morning, like, ah, yeah. oh, like you said earlier, negative. Mm -hmm. um, and that does ruin the vibe of the whole day. And But that also ruins the vibe of the people around you. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like carrying that energy, which isn't obviously good. Yeah. But I've got this book today. Um, it says, Think and Grow Rich. Yeah. And when we were talking about the manifestation thing, this book says here, right? It's like the law of auto-suggestion, yeah? So it says, if you think you're beaten, you are. If you dare not, if you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out of the world, we find success begins with a person's world. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but soon or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. Oops. So I read that, and that really resonated with me. I thought to myself, wait a minute, okay, so basically, thinking about the manifestation that you're talking about, if I want to think I'm going to win today, or if I think I'm going to be a millionaire, I have to do those things to carry myself as if I am that millionaire already. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? You've yeah. got to change the way you carry yourself and you've got to change the way you do things. Is there anything that you had to change? Like when you came into your uh, TikToks and everything else? My like thought process. So yeah. I don't think people realise that like your thought literally creates your future. So if you're right. waking up and like you're thinking the same, you basically think the same thoughts every day. So if you don't like clock into your brain and be like, hang on, why am I feeling so negative? Or why mm -hmm. am I feeling angry or something? And then you realize that this certain thing is making you mad. Yeah. You can literally change that. Change right. I think like yeah. people don't realize that you are in control of how like you're feeling of, if you're in a rut or anything, you can literally change it by your mindset and how you're thinking. I think it is all about mindset. You're right there. Absolutely. People just don't give sex. People really don't get or some people don't get that the mind is a powerful thing. Mm. Do you get me? Like, you can sit there um, and really change a lot. I've seen a lot of people, you know, go from drug addictions to now being, you know, six-figure guys and yeah. it's like, whoa. Okay. Yeah, and your brain is literally trained to think your daily thoughts by the age of six. Yeah. So, like, obviously, we just go into, I like to call it autopilot. You will just live in autopilot until you die. You'll just settle and then you'll die. But, like, if you break that cycle of autopilot, yeah. anything is possible. You it's can almost do anything if, you want. Yeah, it's like, like people are being com becoming complacent, right? Mm -hmm. do you know exactly. What I mean? yeah, 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 that's true. Being complacent is not a good thing because you just sit there every day thinking, yeah, yeah, my life's great. We found it was like, changing the way you like speak and think like yeah. in terms of like yeah. saying I oh I will rather than like yeah oh, like maybe one day I'll have a Lamborghini like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I will ha so like have so kind of yeah, like changing that yeah the way you say things mm -hmm. and think things you've got to act as if you've already yeah, got, you've already got it, it. Yeah. But yeah. it's just, you just yeah. haven't got it in your hands right yeah. now. It's already yeah, yeah, yours. Yeah. Nah, but, that's true. Um, like obviously you said to your mum, yeah, I'm going to be a uh, famous TikToker. 
and you know, yeah, you're, you're, on your, on you're on route, like, like so, literally, yeah. like, I you really did tell her. I mean, do you guys practice affirmations in the morning yeah. and everything? Yeah, so I am, um, me and my friend Chelsea, we're literally always, <laughs> every day, I'm like, today's going to be a good day, like, yeah. today is a good day, you just say it from the morning until the night, even if it's the worst day ever, you you're going to be like, right? today is a good day, and if you wake up and you say that, mm. I promise you, you'll be thinking, oh my god, it is a good day, oh my god, it is a good day, like, more and more things happen to yeah, you, and really. it's literally just like, why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's today so is a good day is one of my go-to affirmations. <laughs> um, and then obviously the TikTok one, that yeah. is my go-to. I'm like, can't wait to be TikTok famous. And that is just it's blew funny. my account up. Like it was literally insane. How do you feel about the TikTok account? Like, are you happy and, and gassed? Obviously that is like growing. Yeah, obviously a scary world to get into just by, um, from what other influencers have said that are obviously further on in their journey than I yeah. am. But I don't really want to go down the influencer route necessarily like yeah. anyone who knows me knows that i would die to be a motivational speaker yeah like, i want to be in a stadium with full of young like-minded people mm -hmm. who want who believe there's more to life than just working nine to five like yeah. that is my ultimate goal so with my tiktok account blowing up i'm excited that it's blowing up but also i'm it's just like a it's just like a back does that make sense like it's just like a you're building a platform in a sense. Yeah, something to fall back like, on. Yeah, yeah. Because like it's obviously a good thing to like promote myself and stuff, but TikTok and influencing. Yeah. It is my path at the minute, but I can see myself going off and being a mini Tony Robbins kind of yeah, thing. Tony. You know what I mean? Oh, I love Tony Robbins. He's a legend. Oh, what a guy! <laughs> he is a legend, to be fair. No, that's pretty sick. So like. In terms of going off to be a motivational speaker, are you doing anything ab ab like about that right now? Um, so obviously my webinar mm. is literally motivating people my age, to, um, teaching them about the law of attraction, but also telling them they can do anything they want. Yeah, yeah. And like, I really get good comments about that, like people saying, like, you've completely changed my mindset, and I get messages every day, and that is what I want to do. So yeah, yeah. Um, I think like once we're out of COVID and stuff, it'll start with like maybe a little room, and I'll pitch my idea to someone. Or um, What kind of ideas you got? Let's hear them. I really, or they're I, secret. <laughs> I, no, they're not secret. Like I just, I just can see myself. I can envision myself yeah. in a stadium, like an X Factor stage, with, yeah. with just me talking with a mic and inspiring everyone, like a seminar. Like no, I will do it, and I yeah. can do it, and like blasting music. I want to make it fun. Mm. Like I don't want it to be like a boring thing when you got to take notes on mm -hmm. the book. I want everyone up. I want everyone in high vibe, dancing, having fun, and yeah. stuff like yeah, yeah. Like I can see the market for it as well. To be fair, because like you said, it's like everyone who does that sort of thing already, are like older so, men. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And, and for the younger generation, it probably might be quite yeah. boring. No, but to see someone like fresh, new, young. Yeah. Um, like manifesting the, the, the things that they want, they want or similar yeah. things that they want I think there's definitely a market there for people that yeah. want yeah. and doing stuff do like that yeah. that people are looking at me on stage yeah. and they're yeah. going to be like oh, she, well she's doing it do you yeah. know what I can do it as well like yeah. it is mm. it's not a secret and I can't believe more people don't use it mm. so I will I want to travel the world and tell people all about this secret the secret <laughs> that everyone thinks it is <laughs> nah for real I mean that's pretty cool though like do you think that things come as a coincidence so like i don't know let's say for instance no. you're walking down the street and then something happens but that's something you were thinking about it two days ago yeah everything happens for a reason everything does, yeah. everything yeah so like yeah. one of them going back to the affirmations question one of the yeah. affirmations i always use if i'm like stressed or i got a feeling something bad not something bad but something is coming up i'll yeah. always say like the universe protects me okay. the universe protects me over and over again and it always always works but like just looking, just yeah. looking after yourself in that sense, like, innit? Literally, yeah. yeah. And when yeah. bad things happen, because it's gonna, because it's life, yeah. you, you've got to turn it around in a positive, I think. Yeah. Like, your journey, for example, it was in a negative environment, we were in a lockdown to this virus that was new and no one knew what was going on, of everyone course, had to yeah. stay in their home, but you used that time when you could be like, feeling sorry, feeling for, myself. sorry for myself to, mm. to, to work on you your dreams. Really. So, yeah. Yeah, and I think any, any negative situation you, you have to yeah. turn around going through something negative yeah. even if it's like um, you know say I asked for I asked the universe for a hundred grand yeah. overnight and it didn't come like that didn't come because it wasn't my time like I it's either would have yeah. blown that money I would have spent it badly yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have done good stuff with it but I know I'll get that hundred grand and when I do I'll be in a better position I'll have children that I can support stuff, exactly right? yeah, I can give it away but I knew now if I had that kind of money it would be a waste yeah, of everyone's waste, time right? <laughs> exactly it'd be horrendous <laughs> so how yeah. was your um like lockdown and stuff 
Um, my lockdown was eventful. I moved three times in the lockdown. I Come know, on, let's talk about insane. that. It was insane. Well, I manifest my second How old are you, sorry? 22. 22. Oh, so God. I bought my first property when I was 19, which was ah. such a flex. I right, know. Ben. How did you do that? Um, I was saving since the age of 16. I worked in Costa Coffee. Yeah. And I just used to... Well, my men used to take my money off me, not yeah. take it, she used to save, save it for, for me. You. Yeah. Oh, smart, like man. I used to get paid like nine hundred pounds a month and mm-hmm. I did, definitely didn't need that. So I used to keep like four hundred and then I'd yeah. give five hundred to my men. Um I've literally done YouTube videos on it and everything because people are so like interested wow. in how to buy a property. Yeah. It's so easy to buy a property. Like it's literally just like um the government telling you that you can't. Like yeah, it's yeah, honestly yeah. it's such a flex. But anyway, um <laughs> yeah, so I bought my first property and yeah. then it was in really rough area though. Um and like, that's where I started my TikTok de- journey. Yeah. And I was doing my TikTok from my bedroom and you can call me crazy if you want, but I definitely manifested a second bedroom. I yeah. needed a second bedroom and I didn't know how I was gonna get it, but I knew I needed to move house. Mm-hmm. And then my auntie turned around and she was like, I'm gonna be buying a new property and she was like, It's two bedroom if you want to use it and I didn't even say to her and I was wow. literally just like I was like yes I'll take it I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like in my journal like yeah, thank yeah. you universe of course <laughs> so yeah I manifested a second bedroom and now I'm in my third property with a huge second bedroom with yeah. my office in it like it's got everything I could ever need and it's the perfect space for my TikTok journey wow. I know I can't believe you bought your first property at 19 years old like <laughs> it is can you like tell the people how to do it the youngest who are out here now thinking, yo, I can't even buy a house. Just let like, them know a little bit how easy it is. It's, it's just ridiculous. Have to deposit, isn't it? The deposit and, is yeah. the. It's, yeah. It sounds like the worst thing, but honestly, mm-hmm. as soon as you got that deposit, it's like a, it's like three years of saving, saving, saving. Yeah. Like if you're young and you haven't got any outgoings or anything, like honestly, it's a no brainer mm-hmm. to put money aside oh, for a deposit. And like, yeah. you it's not even that much. I think no. my first deposit was like. Six yeah. thousand. I think mine was yeah, yeah. four thousand seven hundred. My first one was. So Ooh, like yeah, yeah, I think people think it's out of reach and completely. And you just make but money from it, don't you? It's, mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's investing into. Yeah, so I've still got my yeah. first flat now, yeah. and that pays me more than my uh, mortgage every month. Oh, so you're renting out? You? Yeah, so that one's being rented out, and it's paying for itself. And then if I need to go away, <laughs> like it's there. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, um, just save your money. It's the yeah. best thing. So you're, you're making your do. money work for you right now, then basically, whilst you're. Working yeah. for money as well. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I can see the motivational speaker coming out. I can see it already. <laughs> this <Yeah>. time next <laughs> year. I can see it already. No, but let's talk to you, mate, because um, obviously you're an estate agent. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us like more about the the housing things and everything else? Because yeah. obviously I'm trying to get a house myself. But yeah, and it's a crazy market yeah. at the minute. In all fairness, it's, I, I've done this job for five years now. Yeah. And it's the craziest I've ever known. It. There's so many people looking. Is it because uh, the houses are cheaper? No, if th- th- they're actually probably the most expensive. They've been in Cardiff anyway. Okay, I, yeah. I, don't, I can't talk yeah. for anywhere else. But um, it's, it's, I just think, lot like COVID, in the first lockdown, I thought, oh, my, my job's going here. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no way we're going to recover from this. Of but course. when we, we got back from the first lockdown, yeah. it, it just went like... like skyrocketed. Skyrocketed. Yeah. And, mm. and it was just... I think it's more people's situation, like more people were working from home, um, more people had had time to save money, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, all sorts of things, like change of circumstances, people breaking up, you know, people, of course, whatever, of course. Yeah, like yeah. buying together, I don't know, but, um, and it's just, the market has just taken off, and, and it's nice to see more and more first time buyers buying yeah. now, rather than, yeah, isn't like, the thing got down to 5% now? Yeah. They, Tell they, us about that. Yeah, so they, they, before COVID, yeah. um, they were on about doing one percent, which was what? Uh, yeah, but from mortgage. Yeah, yeah, oh. but, <laughs> but, they, they were, yeah, but I, 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 that haven't really come off. And since COVID, yeah. I think after COVID, they they put it up to fifteen percent, which was making it hard for people, yeah. and and so on. But that sort of fizzled out. So it pe- they've gone up to five percent, which is now. much more. What from mortgage? Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. Do that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> You'd be paying more. You know, monthly of payments course, yeah. and, and APR and whatever, but um, you but know, it's still cheaper yeah. than renting. It's, That's yeah, true. One hundred percent. And you know, and if you hang on to it for a couple of years, the likelihood of your property being worth more than what you bought it. Can is... I bought, Can I? Can I buy it and then rent it out immediately? Or yeah. do I have to live in it for like a few months or something? To 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 be able to rent it out, you have to have twenty five percent percent equity okay. in it. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. To be able to change it to like a buy to let mortgage. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So if if you've only bought it on a five percent, you would have to 
m- somehow um, like maybe pour like money into more it money into it like to get twenty five percent because I think the way they look at it is that like if there's a risk or whatever, yeah, yeah. the you can sell it. You know, if someone doesn't pay their rent or or whatever, just get it gone or something. Yeah, yeah. so um, I, it's easier to to buy for yourself to live in because you could do that off of five percent if yeah. you wanted to. But to to buy it to rent, it has to have that much equity That's in it. Sick. But um, yeah, it's you know anything's possible, and you know you could live there for two years and and the it could be worth more so yeah. that you will have 25% oh and then that's when you yeah, yeah, to yeah, buy yeah, to yeah, okay yeah. then so um, you know if that's the route you want to go down mm. then you know it's worth when did you it. buy your first house I, th- I can't remember if I was 20 or 21 that, yeah, like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey I need some knowledge yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's the same what? sort of thing I, yeah. I bought like my like a, a flat in I don't know whether you know it Grand Avenue in Ely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it, it wasn't. It's not the greatest area, is it? No. And, but you I had the best time. Yeah, yeah. And, but I had the best times there, and mm-hmm. it, you you have, you have such pride because yeah. it's, like it's yours, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the people when we were by, oh, do you, are you going to live on? Like you could see almost see it, but was people hating because you were living there? Yeah, like when like I, most when I was you. buying it, when I had it, pe- people like, oh, because they people could come like, around. Oh, you got your own house. And you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, now you want to buy it. Oh, you're buying in Grand Avenue. Oh, I wouldn't live in Grand Avenue. I think people sometimes expectations are too high, and Definitely. and you got to and you got to slum it. And, and it wasn't slumming. It was it was a nice flat, but it wasn't yeah. in the greatest. And we had the best times. And and I sold it eighteen months later mm. uh, um, for like 25 grand more than what I paid for it. So you made a and, profit. Yeah, yeah and then the, the next house we bought, then it, it needed like loads of work. So we got it like quite cheap mm. and and we spent the money doing it up and it's, you know, a really nice yeah. house now. Yeah. I and, think um, people just think it's out of reach, yeah. like from their yeah. parents and stuff. Like it's just limited yeah. um, thoughts yeah. really, isn't it? But, you've but we just done it. it and it was hard work and... You know, I didn't do much of the manual work. Like, yeah. my brother and my dad, they, we spent months in a new People house. People pulled together, yeah, don't they? And we just cracked on with it. And, and you know, and, it's, and now it's a really nice house. And it's worth, again, loads more than what I paid for. Yeah, it, yeah. So. yeah. Is that where you're currently living then? Yeah, yeah. Paid so, fear. yeah. and It's it's stunning house yeah. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Jesus, I'll have to come see But that was only, like, <laughs> 18 months, two years yeah. worth of... I, I, not even work, because we just have to live somewhere. Yeah, like, all you have to do is stay there. Yeah, and it just... It increased in value and whatever. Yeah, so. But you practice manifesting. Yeah, as well, yeah. Always and do, not, not always. Like I would say, you you. Yeah, so I think yeah, we like came like on. It. I was yeah. like, obs- when I get obsessed with something, I get yeah. obsessed, like mm-hmm. studying day, night, listening yeah. to any book I can get my hands on. Yeah. Um, and then Mitchell just, I kind yeah. of drilled it into. I've always been a spiritual person. <laughs> you know, always, I love it. I love you know my crystals. I love going to mediums. Yeah. And I've always done that. But this side of things. I, like it's been yeah. since like you've got. Do you know what? Even if you one, don't yeah. even believe in the law of attraction, say you think that the uni- believing in the universe is absolutely crazy. Just yeah. changing your mindset is a huge flex. Anyway, isn't switching it, right? from yeah. negative yeah, to yeah, positive weird. is a huge, huge flex, and it's something you'll carry with you for the rest of your life. Oh. And I think that's what we've done. Yeah. I think you don't even realize on on a daily basis like how much you moan and grizzle about everything, and you're just attracting more. And it's just like just enjoy mm. the little things, like and enjoy best your coffee. Belief, I was the worst. I was such a neg- uh, not a negative person, but I was always like. Like I used to make oh like oh I ne- that will never happen oh I'm oh I'm this. We've I'm got so unlucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was the worst joking. for that. Like honestly, the worst for that. But I just chain switched it up and I, yeah. you know, it, and it works. That's like, one yeah. thing I've noticed about people. You know, a lot of people do. Um, you know, they they put themselves down. And they get very, very negative. Yeah. It's really, it's so much easier to feel sorry yeah. for yourself. Yeah, it and that's really the thing. Is. And a lot of people do. environment mm-hmm. as well. Like, at that time, I like I was working somewhere else. I hated my job. Yeah. I hate, like, some of the pe- like, old friends and whatever else I, I was surrounded with. Yeah. And I didn't realise at the time. But now looking back, it, it, it was the environment I was in. That you were in and yeah. stuff. So, so it, you hated your job. Did you change your job? Did yeah, you do something to fix it? Because people to, say yeah. they hate their jobs. But they still go in day in day out. I I handed my notice sense. in and I didn't even have a job lined up. Yeah. Um, and I had I had a mortgage to pay. I had a car to Ooh. pay. I had, but I, I just couldn't work there no more because you weren't happy, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Exactly. So how'd that go for you then in terms of like being jobless, having all that? To well, make? lucky enough, I did find the job I'm in now. Okay. Like cool. um quite quickly, so yeah. I didn't go time without. But you didn't have a doubt in your mind. Oh, that you were but I was find doing it. Job. I, 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 I was doing. I was. Figuring it out Figuring one, out, yeah. one yeah. way, however it happened, but you know I was quite lucky. But I just had to get out. It was it just wasn't an environment that I 
wants to be in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think people being out. negative in their yeah. jobs now, or people blaming their jobs for the reason they are where they are, it's just yeah. an excuse. Like, we're Gen Z. You can oh. do anything you want. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, you can real, literally man. do for anything. Real. You can start a business from scratch, you from with nothing. Yeah. And, like, I feel like social media is a very good platform yeah. to help with that as well. Yeah, it's a, like, it's a good tool to If you to use you. it properly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you get me? You yeah. can just start whatever you want. Start a business, yeah. get a few likes, get a few followers, yeah. pay yeah. for promotion. It's not that deep. No. No. Do you know no. what I'm saying? Because then it will work itself out eventually. Yeah. Yeah. But it just takes time. And this is the thing with our generation as well. I think like everyone wants things now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, straight away. Like, do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So let's say, for instance, people are manifesting like, oh, I want 100 grand by next year. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you, you sure? You need to goals. do the work. Do you know you what I mean? To, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Do you think mentally yeah. and like everything else you can go and get that 100 grand? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you can, go do it. Yeah. yeah? Exactly. Why there's nothing you, stopping you. Yeah, exactly. Stop talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. some people do give themselves high goals and expect it like straight yeah. away. And then that does dim their motivation down. Mm. Because yeah. they're like, wait a minute, this ain't working. I'm not getting my 100 grand. Yeah, Why? Yeah, what's going on? It's not happening. Yeah. Like, and they I start turning yeah. negative, right? Mm. Do you get on me? social media, like especially if you're building a business, everyone will see like the followers going up and everyone will yeah. see like the more sales and you bragging about your sales and stuff. But mm. no one sees like the hard work the at night. The yeah, the grafting, right? mm-hmm. like the amount you have to learn, like studying everything. Like you do have to put of the work and it's not... And I think people forget that. They do forget like, that. Like you yeah, do yeah. need to put... Like, if you want to be rich, you need to work for it. It's not like yeah, it's not, you want to play no, to lucky enough yeah. to, to, to be... But, with the universe, yeah. it, like, co-creates with you. Yeah. So it'll help you, but it's not going to do it for you. No, and it's yeah, the same with anything in life. Like, That's you're not, true. Yeah. I mean, let's go to a uh, subject now. Did you guys have, a like, a good mental health in the lockdown? Like, how was that for you guys, mentally? Uh, mm, I, I loved the first one. Yeah? Yeah. The sun was out. Like, good oh, vibes. Of course, yeah, I loved it. Was, yeah. I, uh, yeah, let's be real. Yeah. And I just, you, you, I just embraced it. Mm. You know, I, I had four months off work. I've, I've never had that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just taking it and on I and like, thought, yes. You know, we just did stuff and, you know, and... You know, just trying to forget about what was actually happening. Yeah, yeah, of course. It was, it was crazy. It was like yeah. you were just like in a bubble in the yeah. first lockdown, weren't you? And yeah. then when the winter hit, yeah, that it, was a different story. It's a different story. It I was, know, um, right? it was really hard. I had to come off social media for about three months, I think, okay. because my my mental health was horrendous. Yeah. But I knew it was me, and I think because I believe in the law of attraction, and I know that I manifest everything that was happening with me. Mm. I was waking up in the morning, and I knew that my mental health was bad, and yeah. I was just making it worse. And I was by got myself, that to yourself yeah, every day, right? by yeah. like like literally saying like it's your fault, like mm-hmm. you know you're doing this to yourself, and da da da. And I just couldn't snap out of it. Yeah. And I think Mitchell and obviously Chelsea like really helped me like you your support bubble is everything in this pandemic, I mean they do say it? five people uh you know you surround yourself with the same yeah. five people do you know what I'm oh, saying yeah. so I see the same people all the time yeah, it's yeah we are you, Chelsea, <laughs> like literally like like the same like five six yeah. people so the yeah. environment you all is yeah. good positive yeah. and all, like, my all close the family yeah. and these guys that's all and we know. make sure if it's only yeah. if Chelsea's having a bad day, I'm like, kick her out the good oh, chat, Mitch. Yeah. We can't have her in yet today. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true because energy does energy. Re- reciprocate. Do you get me? Energy yeah. reciprocates. Yeah. So Absolutely. if I've got a bad energy and I'm driving in the car with someone who's bubbly, my energy, unfortunately, will pass on to them. Yeah. Well. And yeah. turn them into a rotten apple because they're thinking, why is this guy so angry? Literally. And then they'll get angry because they're like, what the hell? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah, energy is a really crazy thing. So like being positive... I guess, yeah. and being positive towards your friends, you yeah. know, you can just bounce that onto them when yeah. they come out negative, like, nah, bro, I'm not allowing yeah. you to take my positivity yeah. away. I think, like, you when, when you see someone negative, I really feel for them, because yeah. I just want to say to them, you do realise this is you doing this to yourself. Right. Like, in this moment, right now, what is the matter? And yeah, most yeah. of the time, they'll be like, well, nothing, but this happened last week, and I'm like, da 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 that was last that week. Was like it. you last are week choosing done. to be in this state. Like you are choosing to feel sorry for yourself. That's it. Mm-hmm. And this is why things are gonna get worse for you. Nothing's gonna get better. Better in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's true. So like I'm gonna ask you guys, um, what do you think the seed system means to you? I ask this on every podcast. No right or wrong answers. The seed system, mm-hmm. the podcast. Not even the podcast, just the seed system. If I was to say to you, explain to me what the seed system is. In your own words, what is it? There's literally no right or wrong answers. If I said the <laughs> um, seed system. Growing. Okay. Um, people growing, people... Um, Positivity. Yeah? You, 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 you know, you're giving out a lot of good, like, good vibes, aren't you? And yeah, if I, if I was... Yeah. It's just people growing yeah. and... Yeah, it means... Growing and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that's what it kind of means anyway, isn't it? Because it's like a seed. Yeah. So you plant yeah. that. 
turns into a tree. Well, it turns into a little, a little plant, really, isn't it? Oh, and it so sustains cute. things, isn't it? And then it I grows into plants. a tree. <laughs> then this tree's got bare branches. <laughs> These branches got bare leaves. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's like you're just growing so many people and Your just giving everyone. Your actually better than mine. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but this bare is branches, the thing. Bare yeah. branches, bare leaves. <laughs> No, but that's what happens, you know. That's the, the seed that you plant today, do you get I me? Mean? It's going to take a while yeah. to grow. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, trees are 100 years old and stuff, and they're still here living. Yeah. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? So it's going to take ages to grow. But once you've grown that kind of, like, branch, first yeah. branch to help somebody out, that branch can then grow another branch. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's someone helping someone else out through the seed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, I think I've seen a quote which was about a seed when the yeah. And um, it, it said, the best... Um, time to plant a seed was like 10 years ago the yeah. second best time to plant a seed is now, now just right? do it do like it. don't even Straight think away. about it plant yeah. a seed make yeah. that Instagram account start the business order those t-shirts yeah, make weird. a logo anything you need to do to start your journey and go Crack for on, it. it I feel like people are so scared to start Oh, I, I think I don't everything. Get it. I don't no. get why people are scared Even if it doesn't that. work, bin it. Get rid of it. Try something new. Like Trust this, me. we have so much time. Mm. Like mm. I'm not gonna be spending my time building someone else's dream and maybe seeing if somebody else's project works. works. Yeah, no, you know, I'm gonna see what right? I like and what I enjoy. Whether that's clothing in a few years or yeah, anything. Yeah. Like mm. I can. It's your story. That Switch it up. You can't you limit want. yourself to anything that you want to do as well, isn't it? No, yeah. absolutely not. That's true. That's true. Alright then, guys. I feel like it's been a great conversation. Like, I mean, oh, hey, you got it. any you got any questions for the guys here? I was bro? gonna say when you first started getting the, the audience on TikTok and Instagram and seeing all these people come in, did you feel a lot of pressure, like a responsibility with these? People yeah, coming definitely. To you and um, I think like you realize quickly that you can't talk about the things you want to talk about. Oh, okay. um, what do you mean by that? Like, not necessarily things you want to talk about, but opinions. Opinions. Uh, just there's yeah, no yeah, point yeah. in putting your opinion online because. Yeah whatever you say is going to be wrong yeah so yeah, i learned yeah, that so very true. quickly um i learned that like um people are like looking up to you yeah um, you were getting noticed weren't you so you, 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 like even though you probably do anyway you got mm. you, you have to be so conscious about you know the way you act right yeah, yeah. and, and like you know uh, even for example yeah. sorry to interrupt mm-hmm. um but like even for example if someone was giving you a stare on the street or if someone yeah. was looking at you on the street you'd look at them and you'd be like what are you looking at yeah, <laughs> but i can't do that anymore but just yeah. in case they know me off tiktok yeah. i always think back to the time when you really blew up back in the summer last year we were driving yeah. and these girls literally i was driving you were in the passenger seat literally running in front of my car i was like oh my god is that girl from tiktok is that girl no from tiktok way. Yeah. me like not being like <laughs> i was like I'm gonna run out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just I wasn't, um, I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> but like, but like, she was like, oh, and then like, you you had to switch up and be like, oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I was like yeah, sat like yeah, this, yeah, and yeah. I was like, I was just swerving, yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, I was like, it's my audience, my girls, how are you? But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like I definitely learned how to be yeah. more. You have to be carrying yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, have to be more professional. I feel like there's yeah. two sides of me. Yeah. Like you have a side where you're like a berm on the sofa with your mates and Chilling, you have a laugh, and then you yeah. have like work mode, which yeah. I am completely fine with. Um, yeah, of I really enjoy my work mode and my relaxing mode. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, yeah. yeah, you're right about that. I mean, there's like there's two sides to you, I guess. There's like four sides to someone else and sixteen sides to someone else. Like exactly. you just gotta know how to talk to people mm. who are from a different environment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, let's say, for instance, we're talking to someone from uh, the projects in America, let's say, yeah. do you know what I mean? Um, you have to speak to them in a certain way, but compared to a corporate person mm. in an office, you're yeah. going to change it up, right? Yeah, and course, you're gonna, yeah. I feel like that's a skill as yeah. well. It's not, it's not easy to, you know, yeah. just switch it up yeah. and be like, no. oh, da-da-da. You've got to really, like, take in what they're saying and then, yeah. like, get their energy and then go back yeah. with that energy. Yeah, do you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, nah, I hear that. That's yeah. pretty sick, guys. But yeah, I mean, have you guys got any questions to ask me? Or probably not no. still. No. But <laughs> <laughs> What's your um? Where could you see yourself in a year? Five years. Five years. I, oh, so I hate that question. Man. I know, <laughs> but I, I thought you were gonna ask me, so I was like, I'm gonna ask. I'm you. gonna ask you now. <laughs> <next time. laughs> I got it nervous. Um, I, I don't know. know? Capital extra vibes. <laughs> nah, you know what? There's mm. there's a lot I see myself doing with uh, the seed system. You know, um, obviously I do motivational speaking myself. So when you said <gasps> that, I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, I started it when I was about what? Uh, what year was I in? I'd say year college. Was it college? Yeah, college time. So year twelve or something. Um, but I just went to my old school, had a chat with <gasps> the the kids. Do you know what I mean? Um, and started here with Moyo. So it's like, I just post motivational content on there, do you know what I mean? Oh. And then I felt like, okay, I've been doing that for so long now. Um, I want to talk to people. 
Do you get me? I want to talk to people, find out their stories and get the motivation off them to share on my Hero of Moyo and then just basically allow people to be like, okay, so I can see that person's actually doing this rather than me posting motivational quotes every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? there's more to it than there's that. There's more to it, exactly. Yeah. So like now what I'm going to do is like bring everyone I've talked to and create more content. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and just keep growing it and growing everyone who's around me and stuff like, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Um, in terms of the motivational factor of things. Um, but yeah, that's, I see myself in five years just helping people grow. Yeah. That's, that's what I want to do is help people grow. And that's so what amazing. about you? Where did you see yourself in five years? <laughs> uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in five years, like I said, I definitely want to be on a big stage and yeah. I want to be helping people. I want to be training people. Like I want to train an academy where they come in and they leave yeah. with a completely different mindset. And apart from like personal goals, like I hope you're driving a Range Rover. Yeah, straight <laughs> straight up, straight it's up. coming, yeah, um, yeah. Range Rover. And I just... I hope I'm healthy, I hope I'm happy, I yeah. hope I've got money for what I want to be doing in my life and yeah. um, and helping people at the same time. And That's all anyone could ever ask for in five no, years, right. isn't it? I mean, yeah. to be fair, I just remembered something. Um, earlier, I seen your story and you were talking about you manifested peewees. <laughs> yes! Talk to us about that. So, um, obviously, I told you about the webinar that I yeah. did and at the end of it, she was just like, um, if you don't know anything about the law of attraction, she was like, don't listen to this. Don't, and I was yeah. like, what is that? So anyway, um, back then I said, I was just like, I would love to go and meet her. I really want to mm. go to the P. Louise Academy. Like it's been my biggest dream forever. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm going to the P. Louise Academy in July. Okay. Like it's amazing. Like there was, she did a course, she yeah. put up a course and um, there was like limited spaces and, and it was for the Academy booking. And I was like, if I'm there yeah. on the website at the time, if I'm not doing anything, she was releasing it at three o'clock. I said, if I, if it's meant to be, it'll, it'll be. be. Yeah, and I, I literally, it was three o'clock. I looked at my phone at three o'clock and I was like, oh my goodness. So I went on there, I was calm and I yeah. literally like clicked on there and it was sold. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I go to the Peter Louise Academy. Like, it was amazing. Make it so, happen, like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, mm. it, and now look at me. Like she's, if she's I amazing. hadn't planted, yeah. yeah, she's an icon. Yeah. But if I hadn't planted that like seed in my in head, head yeah. um, like two years ago or whatever, that wouldn't have excited me and I wouldn't have been in oh, that. For as long as I've known you, you you were going to that oh, academy yeah. one way or another. Oh, yeah. Jeez, okay. Yeah, she's I, I'm even icon. obsessed there. I didn't even like her. <laughs> but I just think she's amazing. I watch her stories. I think she's really She cool. is yeah? an icon. Yeah, yeah. And I will meet her. And yeah, I will yeah. get a photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You let me know how that goes. Honestly. Yeah, I'll send it. <laughs> Where can people find you then on like the socials and everything else? So then? you can find me on TikTok, which yeah. is my main platform. That's Carrie Ed Ryan. Um, YouTube, Carrie Ed Ryan. I do yeah. all kind of videos on there. Um, my Instagram um, is Cariad. You mm -hmm. can find my webinar Instagram, so like where I post all my webinar links and yeah. quotes and all jazz like that on um, Pretty Angels Instagram account, which is linked on my normal one. Yeah. And I think that's it. That's it, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Where can they find you, bro? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. It's been great having you guys, honestly, man. I've enjoyed it. Thank you.